Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And to all my brothers out here preaching this truth, to you I say Shalom. This is Amantazar from the Chicago camp, coming back at you again with another lesson entitled Swine's Flesh, Strange Religion, Because I Fear Him. So I ran across a article, an article uh, by a pig farmer. <laughs> All right, so this this pig farmer, right, is trying to break down the scriptures and try to justify, all right, his enterprise, trying to convince the world that it's okay to eat pork. Okay, so. That, of course, led me to do this lesson. And um, it's going to be more than uh, one. So there's going to be more than part one. So let's go ahead and just set the platform, the groundwork right now. And I want to get into um, second uh, Maccabees, okay, the sixth chapter and the seventh chapter. Um, I want to go into the memorial of Eleazar as well as the mother of the seven um, seven uh, boys, seven sons. All right, and both of uh, in both of these accounts, okay, um, both Eleazar and the mother were memorialized for generations. Okay, um, as an as an example. Okay, and how they they stood stiffly to not eat swine's flesh. All right, and they suffered persecution by this wicked, evil demon of a man okay so we're gonna go into all of that now um first off you got the people that's cursed of the lord trying to break down the scriptures and trying to tell you what's what you supposed to be doing or what you could be doing or what the lord says all right so they're the last people to be trying to quote this this word to you okay they're cursed of the Lord. This is Isaiah 34 and 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea and upon the people of my curse to judgment. So Idumea is Edom. Okay. So Idumea is the Greek way of saying Edom. So I'll read it again. Isaiah Chapter 34 and 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea and upon the people of my curse to judgment. All right, so Idumea are the people of the Lord's curse. All right. The Lord hates Esau, Edom. And we find that in Malachi 1 and 3. Malachi chapter 1, verse 3. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. The Lord also said through scripture in the book of Romans, the New Testament, after uh, the death, burial, and resurrection of Yahawashai, whom the world ignorantly calls Christ, okay? In the book of Romans, the ninth chapter, that same sentiment is reiterated. Romans 9, 13. Let's get it. Romans 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So, it, I'm going to even hit this 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? It says, God forbid. All right, because we know that Esau Edom is that vessel from the potter that's what fitted for destruction. All right, so there's no reason to be listening to him. All right, he's the son of disobedience, children of disobedience. All right, Psalms 50. Psalms 50 and 16. Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, the Most High said, 
What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest taketh my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction and casted my words behind thee. All right. So the wicked ain't even supposed to take this, these scriptures, these, these, these scriptures in his mouth at all. All right. Now, the children of Israel have been discontinued from their heritage. All right. The Apocrypha, all right, for a little while was taken taken out of the Bible, okay, meaning hidden, apocrypha meaning hidden. It was taken out of the Bible, and now that we have it back, you got dumbass jakes, you know, they'll argue with you and tell you, you know, repeating what Esau said, it's not canon, you know, it's not canon. But the apocrypha has so many truths, all right, um, just so 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 many things to increase your faith all right because it, it is in fact it, it's that missing period all right between malachi and uh, matthew you know where you just open up the new testament and then you start seeing the word you know uh jew and, and you know all over the place all right not that it was the first time you see the word jew but there was some lost history there between Malachi and Matthew, okay? And that's where the Apocrypha comes in, how the Israelites became Gentiles. And that's what the Apocrypha does. It's that bridge, okay, that explains, all right, why Paul had to go on his missionary journeys, okay? That's what the Apocrypha does. And it also identifies the wicked. Okay, which is Esau Edom and his brutality, his br brutality and his hatred. Okay, so that's why we're going to go into uh, those Maccabees. Now, let's let's get into uh, so Jeremiah 17 and 4. Jeremiah 17 and 4. Because we were discontinued from our heritage and the heritage is this Bible. Okay. The heritage, our heritage is the Lord and it's these scriptures because they belong to us. Jeremiah 17 and 14. Um, 17 and 4. It's like 17 and 4. And thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. All right. So as punishment, the Lord made it where, hey, you know, we didn't even know. We didn't know who we were. Okay. We discontinued from this, this these scriptures. Uh, Deuteronomy 29 and 29. Deuteronomy 29 and 29. And it reads, The secret things belong unto Yahweh our power, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Okay? So, the purpose of um, the, the, the scriptures, the law, statutes, commandments, and judgment being given to us is for us to do all the things in the law. All right. In the book of Revelation, it talks about um, those who kept the commandment having right to the tree of life. Okay. I'm not even going to get it. But let's go to this Leviticus 11. Leviticus 11, before we jump in to the uh, Maccabee. So, let's see. Leviticus 11. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this Leviticus. I'm going to close on this Leviticus 11, and then you just come back for part two. Leviticus 11, verse 7 and 8. It says, And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. 
and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. Okay, so that's a beautiful uh, place to uh, stop off. All right, uh, for part one of Swine's Flesh, Strange Religion, because I fear him. I pray that this lesson has been edifying until the next one. Shalom.